What is your feeling when you okay. first walk in space? How does ISS maintain its orbit in space? Over. Hi, my name is Zainal. How is air and water recycled in ISS? Over. Over. Hi, my name is Shafiq. There is an air leak. What emergency measures are taken? Over. Hi, my name is Sabrina. How many people does ISS carry? Hi, my name is Trisha. What do astronauts miss most in space? Over. Hi, my name is Azli. Is it hard to eat in space? Over. Hi, my name is Rohani. Do you wear makeup in space? <laughs> Hi, my name is Antika. Is the space self-contained or do astronauts rely on oxygen through an umbilical cord? Over. Okay. Yeah. You will start a countdown. You will count down with me, okay? <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three two, two, one, go. Go, go, then go. I go. I go. I Sierra Sierra. Oscar Romeo 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is 9 Mike 2, Radio Papa November. 9 Mike 2, Radio Papa November. How copy Sunita? Very, very pleased to meet you. Satsuri Akarta, you and Kencho Sunita Bhan. 9M2RPN, this is OR4ISS, channel 40, over. Okay, how do you copy me, uh, Sunita Ji? Satsuri Akarta, you from Malaysia. Yes, 
Karun Bio 4, India Sierra Sierra. This is 9 mic 2. Sugar 9 and 2, Radio Papa November. How copy? November returning. How copy is Nitaji? Satsuri call to you. I hear you loud and clear. How Okay, the Oscar review for India Sierra Sierra. Nine mic to Ishaga Ishaga. How copy? Uh, OR4 ISS, I'm going to read the Papa November. Hi, my name is Nurul. Please tell your feelings when you first stepped into the ISS. Wow, it was amazing. The first time coming into the ISS uh, it was the first time for me was from a space shuttle, and then this time was from a Soyuz. Both are much smaller in volume in size, and then when you come into the ISS, it's huge. It's a long tunnel to fly into, and it's funny that you were. You use the word steps because actually you're flying and you don't really use your feet anymore. Over. Hi, my name is Sophia and what were your feelings when you first walked into space? Over. So space walking is another mis misnomer because you don't walk out there either. It's mostly using hand over hand. But when we opened the hatch and I looked outside and I saw space going by underneath the spacecraft as I was crawling out, I thought, wow, this is unbelievable. It was incredible. It was a little bit scary, but uh, mostly just beautiful. Over. Hi, my name is Moaz. You have been the longest in space, and how do you adjust physically when you return to Earth? Over. So I think the longest, the person who's been in space the longest time is Sergei Krikalov, a Russian cosmonaut. And coming back to Earth is very difficult. Uh, it's, it's hard uh, to get your balance because your inner ear has been uh, in, under the influence of microgravity for a long time. Uh, but we're, and also it's maybe physically a little difficult, but we are working out on gym equipment up here, a treadmill, a bike, and a, a resistive exercise device. So that coming back to Earth won't be so hard. But it will take about a month to recover. Over. Hi, my name's Karina. How does zero gravity affect your body? Over. It's a great question, and it goes into the question before, why we do all that exercise. Well, we're up here, of course we don't use our legs that much. The whole walking concept is gone. So we don't put weight on our hips and on our ankles. And that way, and because of that, we lose bone density and muscle mass. And that's why we do a lot of the physical fitness uh, exercises up here. Also, our heart as a muscle loses some of its mass potentially, and so we have, that's why we have to do cardiovascular, like running or biking, to make sure we work our heart. Over. Hi, my name is Haji. How does one get treated for sudden sickness in space? Over. Great question, and hopefully we are all we don't get sick. We watch uh, pretty healthy for one thing, and a physical uh, fitness and uh, physical health are some of the criteria to becoming an astronaut. So hopefully we won't have a big illness. But we do have medicine up here, and we do get trained to take care of each other, and also. Uh, at Mission Control uh, in Houston and also in Russia, there is a doctor on board, uh, there all the time, so we can call down and ask for advice. Over. Hi, my name is Uma. What was your most unusual experience in space? Over. I think the most unusual thing was seeing the northern lights and the southern lights. On one of my spacewalks, I got to see the northern lights while we were outside, and it was actually below the spacecraft. And it really felt interesting to see some energy from out in the universe coming and hitting the spacecraft. That was very weird. Over. Hi, my name is Malik. How does ISS maintain its orbit in space? So very interesting. Maybe you're going to be a uh, you know a, a scientist or engineer one day. It's called orbital mechanics. Uh, the spacecraft is flying at a certain speed. It's like having a ball on the end of a string, and you have to uh, twirl it at a certain speed such that it stays at that 
uh, level or that altitude or that uh, circumference around the string. So we had to fly at about 17,500 miles an hour, 28,000 kilometers per, mile, per hour, um, and to maintain this uh, distance away from the Earth. However, we're always falling toward the Earth, uh, so every now and then we have to reboost and use our jets to reboost. Over. Hi, my name is Tari. Can you weigh yourself in weightlessness? Over. Actually, a very funny question. We check out our um, our mass on a momentum machine. We have two. We have one here in the Russian segment, and we also have one in the U.S. segment called Slam D. And essentially, uh, what it does is measure how much momentum is pushed after you get pushed on a spring, and how much momentum you'll push back on that spring, and that converts it to weight. Over. Hi, my name is Avinash. Do you miss your Gorby? Absolutely, I miss my Gorby. You know, as you know about him, he's my little dog. Um, and you know, one of the best things about him that I miss the most is I like to take him for a walk and I like to take him places, like to the beach or in the woods. And those things about Earth is what I miss. Even rain, I do, we don't have up here. Um, so those are the things on Earth that I miss, and that's what Gorby symbolizes to me. Over. Hi, my name is Zaido. How is air and water recycled in ISS? Over. Great question. You know, uh, we make air from water. We split hydrogen and oxygen, and that's how we get air, because obviously we get oxygen. And water is collected through condensate, so anytime we sweat or anytime there's humidity in the air, we recollect it through an air conditioning type system. And then also, Urine is uh, recycled and made back into clean water. Of course, there's some extra that we eventually have to throw away. But all of that process is going on up here, so it's essentially a closed system. Over. Hi. Hi, my name is Shafiq. If there is an air leak, what emergency measures are taken? Over. This is a great question, and we practice this at least once a month, probably more than that. We practice it here in the space station. We also practice that in the Soyuz, because either one of the spacecraft can have a leak and it's called a depressurization. So we have procedures to put in place in case that happens. Essentially what we would do is try to close the hatch and isolate the leak so that it didn't affect all of the station. Uh, but if worst came to worst and we had to go in our space, little spacecraft, the Soyuz, we could also close ourselves in our space suits uh, and then come back if we had to depressurize our little spacecraft. So uh, all, of, all of those measures all lead down to jumping in your space suit and, uh, and closing the helmet and making sure you're safe. Over. Hi, my name is Sabina. How many people does ISS carry and what are their crew positions? Uh, usually there are six. Right now we have only three. Uh, the three people can ride on a Soyuz, so we have one Soyuz up here. We should be getting another one pretty soon, so three more people will come and then there'll be six. And most everybody does everything. So there's a commander, the guy who's in charge, and right now that's me. Uh, but that doesn't mean so much except for the fact that in case we have emergency, somebody's in charge. Uh, but for the most part, everybody does science, everybody does spacewalks, everybody does robotics, everybody does medical experiments. And so we all help each other and work together. Over. Hi, my name is Trisha. What do astronauts miss most in space? Over. Well, I think, um, you know, I miss things about Earth and, and people on Earth, and I also miss food from Earth. Space food is okay while it's up here, but, you know, there's some things on Earth that are really yummy, like pizza, for example, and um, I think most astronauts miss having their favorite meal and their meal cooked by their mom and stuff like that, so um, it's nice to get home to see your family and friends and eat what you like to eat the most. Over. Hi, my name is Azi. Is it hard to eat in space? Over. I don't. Some people do every now and then, maybe some pictures, but you know, it's a little bit messy to clean up up here. You have to be careful. Anything that's powder will float around, so that's, you have to be careful about that. And also, we do deal with 100% oxygen, so you do have to worry about some types of products that have any types of oils in them. So it's possible, but I don't do it too much. Over. My name is Rohani. Do you wear makeup in space? Oh. I think I mixed up that last question. I was answering that last question. And no, I don't wear makeup in space, but some people do. But uh, it does have something. Hi, my name is Atika. Is the space suit self-contained 
or do astronauts rely on oxygen through an umbilical cord? Questions, one way, just out. Where's the camera? Have it out of the camera also? So, freestyle now. Freestyle, I don't know. 